In this video, we're taking a look at 10 books under $100 from the bronze and copper age that are worth collecting. This is investment aside, speculation aside, with the state of the current comic book market and the way prices are, now is a time where you can pick up books at their fair market value and feel pretty darn good about the price that you're paying. I'm excited to get into this list, so let's hop into it. While I got you here, I want to remind you to check out brisecomics.com. We have a bunch of new inventory uh, coming to the website soon. Use code COLLECT10 for 10% off all in-stock items. While you're here, sign up for that newsletter, and you're entered to win a free slab each and every month. And we also are always buying. There's this link here for Sell Your Comics. Uh, shoot me an email, shoot me a list, and I'll shoot you a fast, fair price for your books. Super smooth process. I've been doing it for years. And if you have Grail, uh, I could do much better than the normal 60 to 70 percent of FMV for uh, most collections grails I can get much closer to full FMV depending on the actual book so shoot me a list and let me make you an offer all right we're gonna quickly go through 10 books under a hundred dollars that are worth collecting and the reasons why first up is detective comics number 411 and this is just some awesome cover art by Neil Adams and the point of this book on this list is anytime you can find awesome Neil Adams Bronze Age books for a decent price they're worth picking up. Now the key here is for a fair value like you can find a whole bunch of Neil Adams Bronze Age books that are under a hundred dollars they but if they're listed for eighty dollars and they're really only worth forty that's not a good pickup you know that you, you got to make sure that you're getting a good deal because any Neil Adams cover at a good price is a good price purchase. This one also happens to be the first appearance and cover of Talia al Ghul, the daughter of Raz al Ghul. But the, the whole point that this is on the list is any decently priced Neil Adams book is worth adding to your collection. And if you pepper your collection with Neil Adams, it's going to be a whole lot more desirable and attractive of a collection. Next up, we have Fantastic Four number 112, a classic battle cover here by Buscema. And this book, if you can find it for under 100 bucks, it's probably going to be more like a low-grade copy. There's just another great thing to pepper your collection with is classic covers from the Bronze Age, even any age, Silver Age, Copper Age. Uh, if you get it at a good price, it's a good investment and a good way to beef up your collection. And you certainly won't get mad uh, owning this and looking at this amazing cover art uh, all uh, over the years. Next up, we have Green Lantern number 85. And this is a pioneering story arc that confronted the topic of drug addiction, which led to more relatable stories in comics. And the point that this is on the list is you can pick up um, somewhere between a low to mid-grade copy of this book for under $100. But I wanted to put on here like pivotal points in the comic book hobby, P pivotal stories, turning points, things that changed our hobby. Those are cool books to own in your collection, to have these conversation pieces, and it makes you, you know, more well-rounded in the history of this awesome hobby that we all love so much. Next up, we have Amazing Spider-Man number 100. This is just a classic uh, cover art by John Romita Sr., and it's a milestone issue. So the reason I wanted to put this on the list, you can find a pretty decent copy for under 100 bucks raw, and uh, milestone issues are kind of a cool thing. At one point in my collection, I had all the milestone issues for Amazing Spider-Man. I had uh, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, etc. And I had to get like the best one for each one. And what happened was, and the little word of caution here is, sometimes I didn't even care for the cover art. Like I think it was like issue number 500 and 400. I'm like, I don't even, I don't even really like these covers. I mean, the stories were cool, especially in issue number 400. Um, but I just wanted to have this word of caution that if you have a theme in your collection, don't be so married to it that you end up collecting things that you don't even like. That's the trap. It becomes a trap and not a theme when you're obligated to buy comics that you don't like. Make sure you only are buying and collecting things that you love. Next on the list, we have Marvel Superhero Secret Wars number one. There are plentiful copies of this well under the $100 mark. You can probably buy a handful of these in super high grade for under 100 bucks. But it's worth having because this story arc is so important, so cool. Um, and you could probably even get 
possibly the whole 12 issue limited series in super low grade for under 100 bucks. But the point is, uh, it's a great cover, it's a great story, and it's just going to be more and more classic over time, worth picking up in high grade. Amazing Spider Man 252, the next two books on this list, I believe. If you're just starting out with comic book collecting, I believe the next two books on this list should be the first books that you buy. They are so incredibly collectible, desirable, awesome to look at, key issues. Just, I mean, they just check all the boxes. I I honestly think that this book and the next book should be in every single collection. Amazing Spider-Man 252 ties for the first appearance of the Black Symbiote costume. We don't even need to get caught up on whether it ties. You just need this book in your collection classic key you can get a, a a pretty decent copy raw for under a hundred bucks and they're everywhere and this likewise with this book it goes hand in hand with that one marvel superhero secret wars number eight origin of the alien symbiote costume that later bonds with eddie brock and becomes venom i just got a 9.8 signature series to this book and gosh dang is it gonna be hard to sell that thing i mean this book is just so freaking beautiful and there are better copies than others you get one with like super bright colors i promise you you get a 9.8 of this with super bright colors it will bring the biggest smile to your face there's something about this book and this cover it just resonates with collectors and it will for all the rest of time next on the list we have coyote number 11 this is the first interior art by todd mcfarland in the comic book industry the reason i put this on the list is another one of those theme collecting tips you know I, I just love when I get a collection that comes through my shop where the collector had a very specific theme I think I just got I might have one on the way where they had all the Todd McFarlane notable keys including this one and I just thought man that is so cool it's just like such a cool little section of your collection to be able to say this is my Todd McFarlane stuff um, and this is his first interior art so if you have a artist or a writer or um something that you absolutely love you seek out their notable you know like first uh works and oftentimes they're very affordable because they're on books like this which are you know rather obscure next on the list we have punisher limited series number one and this reason i put this on here is first solo series for notable characters are just freaking cool it's just cool and this is an amazing cover by mike zach and there's so many you know issue number ones it's just so awesome to have punisher number one wolverine number one you name it first solo series for notable characters are worth collecting and you can find a lot of them for around the hundred dollar mark Last on the list, we have Incredible Hulk 377, and this book is very affordable, very easy to find. Uh, you can find a super, super high-grade copy. I think you can even get a, a 9.8 for under 100 bucks. Um, and the reason I put this on here is this is just one of my favorite covers for the Hulk. Nothing crazy with the artwork, it, and that's what makes it so good. The trade dress, the contrast, uh, it, it just... It does something for me, and it doesn't have to be this book. You know, it's some just find that cover that does it for you. Every single time I see this book, I think, God, I love this cover art. So that's the idea behind uh, this book on the list is just finding that affordable, good cover art that makes you happy. This also happens to be the first appearance of the Professor Hulk personality and the first appearance of Guilt Hulk, a manifestation of Banner's guilt. Don't forget to check us out over on Whatnot. There's a link down in the description for $15 towards your first purchase on Whatnot. And we always have books in the Buy It Now for under $15. So you can stop by and pick up some free books. If you're new to Whatnot, just pay for shipping. Thank you as always for sticking with me to the end of the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye. This is investment aspied. <laughs> aspied.